pop-up shop that's happening at the NC Art Museum. I'm kind of having like a little solo day, date day today. So I'm gonna go to the museum. I'm probably gonna get something at the pop-up. I'm probably gonna go get some coffee because I haven't had any yet. And then maybe go to the library. I don't actually know how late the library is open on Saturdays. I might save that for tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx, do a couple of errands that I have to get done. But yeah, I don't have any plans today. It actually feels good to kind of just hang out by myself and do some things that I like that I would normally do with friends, but doing it by myself. Um, this is what I'm wearing. Very simple and comfortable for the museum because the museum actually has like an outdoor sculpture area. So it's like around a trail and everything. So this is what I'm wearing. Just a t-shirt, um, some jeans and my dunks. And then I have on my favorite pull-in bag. If you guys haven't seen it already, I did an unboxing of this bag. I'll have it linked down below. Um, and then, of course, I'm bringing my favorite Zara sweater because they're saying it's 74 degrees, but I don't believe the meteorologist has been right. It doesn't look like it's 74 degrees outside. So I'm going to go ahead and head out before I miss the last of the pop-up. So, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Oh, I used to tell lies, but I would never lie to you. Step and spray on my gun, I'm looking all kinds of loot. Do you know what I like? What would you like to do? Tell me, tell me, I'm telling you. I know I know I've been away. It is 5.30 and I've been out since one, yeah, like one, yeah. So we're in for the rest of the night. I got my food. I got some sushi from Spicy Nine. Um, if you're in the triangle and you want good sushi, go to Spicy Nine. Um, I went to Wegmans. I'm like having like the best, like food night tonight 
I got, I went to Wegmans and I got a slice of cake. I think I told, I don't think I told you guys before. The cake, the bakery section at Wegmans, top tier. Speaking of, I got some almond croissants. <laughs> These had me in like a chokehold. And like at the coffee shop, it's like $6 for one, but at Wegmans you can get two for $5. And then I got some red wine to eat, to eat, to drink with my food, or probably a little bit later on tonight. Oh, I also went to TJ Maxx while I was out. Let me just show you guys real quick what I got. I got this ice cube, this mini ice cube tray, so that way I can have it for like my iced coffee. Because when I use the regular freezers, um, ice is so big, so it like clumps together really easily. And then I got some stasher bags because, you know, we're trying to save the planet still, you know. Um, these are basically reusable Ziploc bags. So I use these for everything you use a Ziploc bag for. Simple as that. Um, at the pop-up shop, I did get something. I think I, I've told you guys about this brand before, Soul Sister. I got them at a different pop-up before, but this time I got their body but i got a small one so that way it can go in my purse because you know it's getting cold hands are getting ashy then i got their lavender body wash to try so i'm excited about that but not as excited as i am for this food so i'm about to change i've already fed my cat i'm about to change and put on some sweats or some pajamas i don't know yet one or the other and i'm gonna go sit my butt on the couch and enjoy my food that's what i'm doing for the rest of the night and then yeah because i'm tired i'm actually tired so yeah i'm gonna put my hair up um get comfortable and go enjoy my food yes ma'am mm -hmm. um yeah i'm about to eat my food and i'm gonna enjoy it i'm probably gonna watch don't judge me guys <laughs> but i'm about to watch the game do you guys remember that show when tia uh was playing uh med school girl melanie and derwin davis and that whole little thing the show about like the football players or whatever i used to love that show when it first came out and then it switched to the bet network and then i stopped watching it because i didn't really enjoy it as much because they took away like the comedic element of it and so it's like a drama now and now i'm invested because hulu has like nine seasons and so I was like, well, let me just see what it's hitting on. And now I'm like invested. And now, you know, they did a reboot and now that's on Paramount. And I think they're on season two because they just got cleared for another season. And so now I'm invested. So don't judge me. But what are you guys watching? Let me know. Because I always catch on to like, I always watch like my old classic shows because I catch on to shows like the newer shows late, a little bit later because everyone just gets online and they ruin the show like, They'll record the episodes that they're watching and then talk about it. I'm like, well, we all haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. So like some shows I haven't even gotten into yet. So let me know down in the comments what you guys are watching because winter is quickly approaching and I'm probably going to be home a lot more. So I'm going to need some recommendations, but I'm going to go ahead and eat my weight in Asian food and I'll talk to you guys later. good afternoon today is sunday i'm finishing up getting ready because i'm about to head to my hair is a little crazy right now um i'm about to head to the escape room with my friends um i have to be there like 15 minutes early so um i'm gonna finish getting ready i'm not wearing this i have on a um a robe right now because i am a klutz where like i'll spill makeup or oil or something on my clothes before it's time for me to leave so this is like my way of protecting myself before i go but i thought i was going to go to the library today um afterwards but apparently the library is no longer open on sundays i guess maybe it was just like a summer thing so i'll probably do that later in the week to get some new books um 
speaking of books i want to give you so if you're a person that likes to read psychological thriller books let me give you like my one of my favorite authors right now well not favorite probably like someone that i'm really really enjoying right now is carol goodman i've read three of her books now she usually does like the thriller psychological thriller mystery books um murder mystery usually they all involve murder so if you're not into that <laughs> you're not into those kind of books then she probably probably won't be for you yeah you're now you're mad because i don't want you in front of the camera um but yeah i really like her books they're really good um i also like another thriller book if you haven't read it yet the silent patient is so 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 good a great twist in it um uh, let me think who else do i have for thrillers um sharp objects if you haven't read that yet i haven't watched the tv show maybe i'll give the tv show a try but the silent patient is good um the woman in the window is good if you haven't read that um i think those are my only ones so the ones that i've read by carol goodman so far um the night visitor uh the lost girls at sea or the sea of lost girls and then um river road I think yeah those are the three that I read by her so far I'm probably going to end up going through like her whole entire section at the library because I'm just really into thriller mystery books when I'm reading nonfiction. I'm sorry when I'm reading fiction um I like to read thriller books usually um if you're like a more person that's like into romance like all those like rom-com themed books I think Jasmine Guillory 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 is her last name um she has really good books they're really cute um let me think because i mostly read non-fiction books and like the non-fiction book that i'm about to work on right now is the power of now by Edgar tolle i've heard about this book forever and i wanted to be like in a good place to actually digest this book so i'm probably going to be reading it with another book at the same time because i know it's like a lot in this book so that's what i'm going to be reading over the next few weeks just because I've read that you can't really rush through it. It's like a really good book. A lot of things that apply to your everyday life. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go to the library, pick up some more books. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go meet up with my friends and probably head to the mall to drop off a return at Abercrombie. I got some jeans. Oh, stop it. My kitten's eating my thing. My I'm trying to eat my cord. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to go to the mall to return some jeans to Abercrombie. I got an exchange and I still don't like them. And so I want to make sure I turn, return those before um, my little window is up. But yeah, it's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the day. I'll probably hang out at home afterwards, afterwards, <laughs> afterwards and do some editing and prepping and planning for my week ahead. I need to schedule some appointments. I need to do some packing. Yeah, we got a lot going. Not a whole lot, but like we got some things going on for this week, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit and I'll show you my outfit before I head out. All right, so I'm getting ready to head out and this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this top from, not Zara, H&M Men's Department. I have on my khaki trousers from Zara and then I have on my Jordan 1s in the color Bordeaux and then in the spirit of festivities, I have on some Halloween socks. <laughs> And then I'm carrying my pull-in bag. Um, I love this bag. Definitely one of my favorite purchases of the year. Probably like my favorite bag ever <laughs> so far. I do want that new coach bag, but I can't, I can't with the price right now. I'll put a picture of it up here so you guys can see it. It's so cute, but I can't pay. I just can't. Like my heart won't let me pay the price. Um, I went to grab my rings so I can put those on, some gold, and then yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'll go ahead and head out and meet my friends and I will check in with you guys when I get there. What will you do? Will you just step back? Will you duck it out? Will you be here to the end? I just wanna know if you my friend. I just wanna know if you attend I know I've been away. We 
did not solve the murder mystery room in time. We had like 30 seconds left and we probably needed like one minute to like decode the name and we did not have it. So at the end, like if you don't solve it, you go to jail. So we went to jail. <laughs> it was so much fun. Like I highly recommend doing an escape room, especially like if you're into like solving like mysteries and murders and things like that. It was so, so, so much fun. So I definitely want to do it again. Um, Afterwards, we went out to eat and got some drinks, and now I am back home. I also stopped at Lowe's while I was out to get a couple more wooden dowels. Excuse me, for the rest of my plants, I need to go ahead and like finish like propping those up or whatever. But I want to go ahead and close my vlog out here. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and wind down for the night and prep with what little time I have. I think it's like quarter to six. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.